Hi guys, it's Kristen from Kristen Moon Science. Um, as some of us are planning for our next year's classes, I just want to give you a tool that's at your disposal for those of you who are teaching chemistry or your kids are taking chemistry. Um, this is an online simulation. It's found at FET. It, like all of its, all of FET simulations, it is wonderful. They don't cost a thing. And this simulation I'm going to tell you about um, in particular is really, really good if your kids are struggling with understanding how to balance equations. So um, just as a reminder, when you go to FET and you do the drop down menu here under simulations, all of the simulations you can find based on topics. Um, if your kid's in biology or physics or chemistry or earth science, you can also find math simulations here too. And the other really cool thing is that you can um, uh, find simulations based on grade level. So they have simulations appropriate for kids in elementary school, middle, high school, even college. College campuses actually use FET simulations in the classroom. So I am here under the chemistry um, simulations, and this is the one I want to tell you about, balancing chemical equations. So you just click on it to start, and it's going to give you two options. Um, the first one is an introduction. This is kind of teaching kids the ropes about how to balance chemical equations. And then once they're comfortable with that, then they can go on to play the game. So let me just start off here um, to tell you why I like this so much. So, so right here, um, you've got three different chemical equations that your kids are going to need to balance. The first one that we're going to start with is making ammonia um, and we make it from nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas. So right now you don't see anything in these boxes because you haven't added any of the molecules yet. So you use the toggles. Let's go ahead and add one molecule of nitrogen, one of hydrogen, and one of ammonia. So these are the, the reactants and on this side are the products. So what you should have seen right away is that the nitrogen molecule is represented, uh, each oxygen or nitrogen atom is represented by a blue sphere. And so um, uh, elemental nitrogen in its, in its form is, is two nitrogens bound together, just like we're seeing right here. Hydrogen, similarly, it's what's called a homonuclear diatomic. Your kids will learn about these um, in chemistry, but basically hydrogen by, is never found by itself in nature. Um, hydrogen on its own is always bound with another molecule or another atom of hydrogen. So here we see nitrogen is represented with a blue sphere. Uh, hydrogen is represented with a white sphere. And then over here, after the chemical reaction happens, um, the nitrogen and hydrogen come together to form ammonia. And ammonia is made up of one nitrogen and three hydrogens. So what your kids will learn when they're at this point in chemistry is something called um, the law of conservation of mass or matter. And basically what it's saying is what goes in has to come out. Um, if you, if you, the number of atoms of each element that goes into a chemical equation has to be the same that comes out because, because even though it changes forms, you're not actually destroying any atoms in the process of a chemical reaction. So what I really love about the simulation is that your kids can actually see this, okay? Because they can look at the reactants and the products and see, do they have the same number of each type of element going in and coming out? So over here, it's very easy to see that you've got two nitrogens as reactants, but over here, you only have one nitrogen. And over here, you have two hydrogens going in, but you have three hydrogens coming out. So clearly this isn't balanced. So now they have to figure out, well, what do I need to do to balance it? Well, it's just trial and error. If they make a mistake, they can just toggle down. You know, they can start over. They can, uh, like right here, you can just restart. So, I mean, it's it's kind of like a, a low stress way to kind of visualize and play around with the things. So since I, I know that I have two nitrogens over here, which means I'm going to have to have two nitrogens over here, I'm going to go ahead and toggle up on the ammonia because that's the only thing that I have on the reactant side that has ammonia in it. So now you see I have two nitrogens coming out and I had two nitrogens going in. So my nitrogens are balanced, but what about my hydrogens? In the reactants, I have one, two, three, four, five, six hydrogens, and I only had two going in. And what goes in, what has to come out, what comes out had to go in. So obviously I need to add some more hydrogens to this side of the equation. So how many do I need? Well, I have six coming out. I only had two going in. So I'm going to add, there's two more, 
there's two more and see, I did it. And when you do it, when you get it done, uh, you get this little smiley face and you get to go on to the next one. So I'm gonna do the next one, separate water. And this time I'm gonna show you this neat tool, okay? You can even, under tools, add this little nifty balance. And this is another way to help your kids understand and visualize how, whether or not something is balanced. So once again, my reactants on the left, my products on the right, I don't have anything in there yet because I haven't added any molecules. So I'm gonna go ahead and toggle up, put a water there, a hydrogen coming out and an oxygen coming out. Cause in this, um, this experiment I, or in this reaction, I am separating water H2O into hydrogen and oxygen. Okay, and as I said in the last, in the last example, hydrogen is never found on its own. It's a homonuclear diatomic as is oxygen. That's why that's there. And if you don't understand that, don't worry about it because your kids will understand it when they get to this point in chemistry. Okay, so what I like about this is it's breaking, it's showing you um, for each element in the reaction is it balanced or not. So right here, you know, we, we could count Okay, so hydrogen, I've got one, two hydrogens going in and two hydrogens going out. So two going in, two going out, it's balanced. And we can see that it's balanced looking at this, this balance up here for hydrogen. But how about oxygen? I have one oxygen going in, two oxygens going out. It's not balanced, which you can also visualize looking at this balance. And you can also see what do you need to do? Well, obviously I've got more oxygen in my products than I do in my reactants, so I need to add more to the reactants. So I'm gonna to toggle up on my hydrogens, so now, or on my waters, now my oxygens are balanced, but my hydrogens aren't. And this is, this is what happens. I know it might seem like it's gonna be frustrating to your kids, but I promise you this is how they learn. Um, learning to balance equations is a skill and it's acquired by practice. Um, so, so what they're gonna do is they're going to see that um, now their oxygens are balanced, their hydrogens aren't. I've got four going in and two coming out. So what do I do? I'm gonna come over here to the products and I'm going to toggle up here and now it's balanced. And let's just do one more for fun. Actually, let's go on. So then the, the last equation, the last in the intro is combusting methane. But let me go ahead and show you what they can do after they have, uh, learn the ropes. Then they can go out and play a game. Now granted, this is probably not as fun as playing on their Xbox type of game, but it's what we've got, okay? So this time you don't have the tools, you don't have that little um, balance to look at, but it's the same kind of principle. Um, I'm going to toggle up just to get, you know, some atoms there so I can get to look at them. So I see that um, the hydrogens, I've got one, two, three, four hydrogens going in and one, two, three, four hydrogens going out. And I have, um, I'm going to assume that the red one is oxygen and the gray one is carbon. This actually looks balanced to me. It looks like I've got the same going in and going out. So I'm gonna hit check and I got it, got it right. So now we go next, let's do the next one. Once again, toggle up, up, up. Okay, this one is not balanced. I've got one nitrogen going in, one nitrogen going out. That's awesome. One, two oxygens going in, one, two, three oxygens going out. Um, so I need to add some more, some more over here. So let me do that. And so now I've got one, two nitrogens going in. So now all of a sudden my, this is not balanced. Okay, so let's try counting it now. Let's count my nitrogens. One, two going in, one, two coming out. That's balanced. One, two, three, four, oxygen's going in. One, two, three, four, oxygen's going out. That looks balanced to me. Check, got it. Okay, so I won't keep going through this. I won't bore you, but what I wanted to tell you is this is just so great because kids can learn to do this on paper, but it can get really frustrating and they may not really understand what they're doing. What I love about the simulation so much is the fact that they can see it. The, the little spheres that represent the different atoms of each element just really help the kids to understand what they're doing when they're, you know, adding more molecules to the reactants or the products and why it's so important to balance the equation. So I hope that that's useful to you. Remember to bookmark it. FET is one of my favorite sites for um, 
for practicing skills, especially in chemistry. Um, but they have great ones in math and, and physics and biology too. So give it a shot. Uh, thanks so much.